Augusta, Georgia, May 11, 1970. That's when nearly 1,000 African Americans rebelled. A brutal murder had occurred in the county jail. The victim was an intellectually disabled black teenager, Charles Oatman. The back of his head was busted open. Uh, he had three long gashes in his back, about a half inch deep and maybe about eight inches long or so. Uh, he had cigarette burns all over his body. During one day of rioting, six black men were killed by police, all of them shot in the back. The Augusta riot tore a community apart, revealing deep, painful wounds. I never have known why the people rioted. And I don't want to say that everybody who was involved in the riot was a thug, but a lot of them are just criminals. The black people in Augusta are tired of being told that there is no racial problem here, whereas our local officials have not seen a problem. Now the nation knows that Augusta has a problem. I'm C. Stachura, host of Shots in the Back, exhuming the 1970 Augusta riot. And on our podcast, we reconstruct in detail one of the South's first major civil rights era riots. And we consider why it's relevant today. You can subscribe for free wherever you get podcasts. <laughs>